Welcome to the Physical Science Connection. Today's lesson is finding the slope of a line through graphs and tables. Okay, so the best way to find the points of this line is to use the coordinates provided. So our first one is 1, 2. That just means that we need to use the x-coordinate along the x-axis. That'll take us to 1. And then we're going to go up 2. So once we go up 1, 2, we'll see that our point goes right here. And then our second point goes at 5, 4. So here's 5. And we're going to go up 4. So right here. And now we're going to try and draw a very straight line from point A to point B. And now it's time to find the slope. Remember that slope is rise over run. And the rise simply means how far up, in this case, do we need to go, and how far over to the right do we need to run in order to find the denominator. All right, so if we go up, one, two, Our rise is 2. We go over 1, 2, 3, 4. Our run is 4. So we'll put our 2 in the numerator. Our 4 goes in the denominator. Again, because the 2 represents the rise and the 4 represents the run. As you can see, the rise over run can be reduced to one half, so m, which stands for slope, equals one half. And since the line is moving in an upward direction as I go from left to right, then I can say that this is a positive slope. All right, so it's your turn to try. And what I want you to do here is use these two coordinates in order to plot the two points on this graph in order to find the slope. Go ahead and pause the video here and then when everybody's done uh, resume the video and we'll find out the answer. Okay, so let's look at the answer to the problem that you just received. So you had to find the first point which was 3, 2 and that's here and then your second point was 5, 0 which is here. Remember your x-coordinate, you start on the x-axis first and that was the 5 and then you didn't have to go up anywhere because your y-coordinate was 0. So now we have to connect the dots. When we connect the dots, our line is moving in from left to right in a downward fashion. That's important for later. In the meantime, we need to find the slope. Again, the slope is the rise over the run. So, when we look at this line, it has a rise of 2 and it has a run of 2. So the slope equals 2 over 2. Are we done? We're definitely not done. So now when we look at that, we can reduce the 2 over 2, which is the same thing as saying 1. However, we're still not done. There's a critical piece here. As I said earlier, you're from left to right your line is moving in a downward position. If it's moving in a downward position, then you know that your line has a negative slope. And if you see what's missing, I don't have a negative. So I'm going to go ahead and add my negative to show that this line has a negative slope of 1. All right, here's one more practice problem. I want you to go ahead and do the same thing as we did before. You need to plot the points, you need to draw your line connecting the points, you need to find your slope, and when you're done finding your slope, make sure you determine if it's a positive slope or a negative slope, and show that by either adding the negative sign or leaving the fraction as is. Go ahead and pause the video here. Okay, let's look at the problem. So we had to plot the two points. 7, 3, move over 7, go up 3. That's the first point. For the second point, we need to go 
over to 5 and then go up to 4 and so we have our two points we connect the line once we collect the, connect the line we have to look for the slope again slope is the rise over the run so when we look the rise goes up 1 and the run goes over 2 1 2 so our rise is 1 over 2. There's no need to reduce because it's already in simplest form. However, are we done? We're not done. Our line, let's look at it, from left to right, it's moving in a downward fashion. So this means that we have to have a negative sign. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this because that is not correct. Correct way should be negative 1 over 2. Must have that negative sign to represent that this is a negative slope on this line. So now you know how to find the slope by using two points on a graph. Now how do you find the slope by using a simple table? First thing I want you to do before we get started is to look at this table and answer this question. What do you notice about the values in each row? Go ahead and pause the video, share some answers, and then hit play when you're ready to continue. So when you looked at the x values, you should have noticed that they, from 1 to the next, go up by 1. in each case. However, when you look at the y values from one to the next, they go, they change by two, but it's not a positive change, it's a negative change. <clears throat> Alright, so now we found the change in the x values and the y values. Let's plug them back into our formula at the top where I have the slope which equals the rise over the run and remember the rise is the change in y over the change in x so when I look at the change in y the change in y is negative 2 over the change in x which is just 1 so our slope for this particular line would be m equals negative 2. Another way to say this is that this line has a constant rate of change of negative 2. Here's one for you to try on your own. Go ahead and look for the rate of change. Determine the slope if there is a slope and make sure you write your final answer. Once everybody is done then resume the video so that I can go over the answer with you. Okay, so let's go back and look at your answer, um, or rather before you got your answer. If we look at the x values, we see that there is a change of negative 1. And when we look at our y values, we see that there is a positive change of 3. In other words, every time we look at the next value, it goes up by 3. When we look at the x values, every time we look at them, they go down by 1. Hence, negative 1 and positive 3. So, when we take those values... We put our rise, which is the y, the change, the difference in the y values. We have the positive 3 over the negative 1. We then can say that our slope is negative 3. Remember, we can drop the 1. It still means the same thing as negative 3 over 1. Okay, so let's recap. I said already that there are different ways to find slope. In this particular video, I've shown you two of the several ways. The first way, we used um, two points. We connected the points by drawing a line. Then we looked to see how far up our line went up and how far over it went across in order to find the rise over the run. Then we looked at the line and the line from left to right if it went up or increased, then we say that it had a positive slope. 
If it went down or decreased, we say that it had a negative slope. Then we looked at a table, and then we looked at the rate of change in the each set of values, your x values and your y values. Uh, if we saw that the numbers went up or increased, then it was a positive change. If we saw that the numbers decreased or went down, then it was a negative change. So that would help us to determine our change of y over a change of x in order to determine that slope. So those are just a few ways in being able to find the slope of a line. And that's a wrap.